my name is John Vargas. Everyone calls me Vargas. This is Mochi Butt, if you guys didn't know, and I own Angel Motorsports. And Mochi Butt LLC. <laughs> hey, hold on, Mochi, I'm trying to show you off for the OnlyFans. What got me into cars, actually, my dad, being Puerto Rican, we were like really oriented to go to Rotary's more than anything. So my dad bought us our first RX-7 when I was, I think I was like 13 though. Ended up buying like 20 first gens, they went into FCEs, they sucked, so we sold them and got FDEs. And then it get to the point that we ended up having two shops, just focusing on rotary work only. Rotaries, man, yeah. You can tell like, rotaries. Everything else is lame. Just that, it just sounds really cool, so we just went with rotaries because of the engine sound. It's like, it's like a specialty thing you have to know, you can't just go to school for it, you have to actually learn it by trial and error. And it's expensive, you blow up a lot of shit. And fireballs, like no, no other car has like cooler like exhaust notes and fireballs in RX-7s. So. Me and my other two brothers, uh, younger one, Chris, and then my older brother, Michael. And we just did it as a hobby, basically. We just like did it for fun, because we used to work with my dad. And we're thinking about starting a shop one day Starting a shop is not really something you want to do, like super fucking expensive. So we were holding on onto it, and then one day, like, we ended up losing our little brother to an accident, a motorcycle accident. And after that, we, me and my older brother decided just like, let's open the shop in his memory. So his name was Chris Angel Vargas, so we ended up calling him Angel Motorsports. So we opened that on his name, and I mean, it's been really successful. We have a shop in Virginia, one in California. And now we're actually closing the California shop to open, basically just make the Virginia shop way, way bigger, both of us together. I mean, we, we can't really work together, but we figured out after like being like five years apart from each other, we actually figured out a way to can actually get back and actually work together. It's a wall between us still, we can actually work together now. Ways of getting shit done. So he's way faster than me, like as far as building cars. I'm super slow, but like you can tell the difference like on who built the car. I'm like really, really into attention to detail and I'm a fabricator so I can actually do a lot more work than he does. But he just like basically just puts the car together and makes it run fast as hell. So we're, we're doing like huge builds now. We're gonna do like a bunch of four order builds. We're gonna do a bunch of like uh, YouTuber builds. So he hit me up like, hey man, like, like fuck the California shop. Uh, we already did whatever you need to do in California. You can't really get higher than that. So just come back to the East Coast and be my fabricator pretty much. So I'm just gonna go over there and be fabricating and tuning. And he's gonna take care of like basically like assembling the car and doing the engine work. So basically just kill it, basically kill the game with both of us together. Like I said, me and my brother couldn't work together. We had uh, we couldn't agree on some shit, so I left and get to do it on my own and it was not easy. Like even though we had a name ready for us, it was still not easy because I was a new kid in town. And of course being a new guy in town, no one fucking likes you. So like all the roadie shots in the areas don't fucking like me. They kinda still don't like me because so I don't give a shit anyways, but they didn't like me, they made it extra hard for me to do anything and basically me succeeding and being over them just fucking made it worth it. Like, it doesn't matter how much shit I went through like the past five years, like making it just fucking made everything work. I literally had someone yell at me. It was, a, it was me, Hurt and, and Miller. Someone like, was trying to raise me and because I beat them, they're, they're yelling saying, fuck you, get out of California, go back to East Coast. Like, it was that childish. So, like, that's that's what I went up against. I mean, like, so to where I got to right now, I was fucking sick. Cause basically, I didn't let any of that shit just get in the way and, and it's right for the bigger picture. So, it actually made it better because uh, making it, basically, I just made it, like, hurt him that much more. Started with F's, like, first gens. I jumped to FC's, didn't really, like, feel them too much. Then I got my yellow FD that everyone like, kind of like, knew me. Like, not everyone, but some people knew me about the yellow FD because like, it was kind of cool back then. And sold that. And as soon as I sold that, that's when people started me knowing for Vargas FB because it had a really, really fast first gen RX-7. Uh, drove that thing to the ground and then decided to jump into an FC, which is the car that I have right now. That one I did it mostly for like, uh, I don't want to say you call it. People call it clout because like, they're fucking about her. But I wouldn't say Cloud was more like I wanted to like uh, bring a like, reliability to the FC market. So we started building FCs. We did Hertz FC, uh, did my FC, and those things were like basically unbeatable the track. 
And now I'm actually gonna go back towards like basically the first gen step and the FD step because the FC is pretty much like it's like I don't think I can do anything cool than what is right now. I think if I keep messing with it, it's actually gonna get like lame. So you can't get better than like to me personally, you can't get better than a simple body kit in Regas. Like that's like the hardest shit you can do to the car. So right now I don't wanna cut the car, so I'm just gonna leave it alone and then go to the FD. But the FD is gonna be like a next level shit, like three rotor, sequential transmission, all that crap just to be like uh uh just to flex a little bit pretty much. That's about it. So the FC has a turbo two block that I built uh, with a big ass Garrett turbo, Link ECU, turbo smart waste gates, clutch masters, twin discs, and it just gets down like it's just like a reliable ass car. I mean, I basically like, I can drive all right, but I basically created most of it to me copying Hertz setup. I did the same coil over, same spec. Uh, everything from PBM, uh, so their BC coils, PBM bushings, all that crap, and the car just handles like you can basically anyone can, can kind of get in and drive it at that point. So it's kind of dialed in right now, pretty good. The FC, I never really liked them. They go for like the initial D style, or they just go like fucking super wide body V8, which is like not as cool. So I wanted to bring something like different. I wanted to drift my first gen or drift my FD, but an FC is so much cheaper if you crash it. So I just went with the FC instead so I can learn how to crash the car and be good at it. So now basically I, I crashed the car, I think twice. And it wasn't even that big, big of a crash. So now I'm basically comfortable jumping to the FD and not worrying about wrecking the car. That car costs way, way too much money to just be drifting it. The FD, I bought it four years ago and I paid like almost 6,000 for a bare shell. And now they're going for like 15 for a shitty ass car and like 30 and 40 for like a nice one. So of course you want to pick the shitty one and same thing as the first gen. First gens are hard to find. You're going to spend 10 grand on the first gen, a nice one, a GSLC. So you don't want to use that car as a drip car. You want to use something like inexpensive but still cool. I mean, an FC, like as far as a drift car, the FC is like really like high up there. You can't really compare too many cars to the FC because it's just like they're so unique. Like they just look way cooler than any other car out there like the dose drifting they're not 240s don't confuse them with 240s i had everyone tell me my car looked like a 240 when i was driving back from like i drove the car from virginia to california and everyone in the mid was like oh cool 240 i was like you're fucking stupid like it's not a 240. <laughs> yeah way way cool like right? it looks like a little bit like a 240 but not really everyone like had like a their like doubts about him like a lot of people actually did and the first car I did for drifting that to show how reliable they were there were two cars so it was my boys radios car and uh, grills car so those two cars like they're completely different one was a turbo 2 swap and then one was uh, a built non-turbo engine with a turbo on it so a 6 port turbo and those things lasted forever and that's how we got the reliability across enough to get like a big build such as hurt. So basically we pulled the V8 out and put a rotor in it. And like that was like next level shit because no one wanted it. Like, everyone's like V8s are reliable, why are you gonna pull a V8 out and put a rotor? And we kind of proved the point because the, the rotor outlasted the V8 for years. And then my FC also, I did, it made uh, 500 to the wheels and I think the only thing I changed over the years that I had it is like 10 transmissions. 15 axles so like the car itself like the, the engine itself was really really liable but now it's just finding like the happy medium in the car because it just makes way too much harder like, whenever i post i break something in the car like oh like go see the 09 like first of all see the 9 suck they just they're way too big you have to hammer the shit out of the car make it fit. So i don't want to do that because my car like i mean it looks like it doesn't look that bad but i don't want to just hammer the shit out of the car make a transmission fit so not gonna go see 09. I'm also like gonna either gonna put an R154 in it and build it, or just like send the T2 transmission and get face plated, and hopefully that holds. Uh, and the diff, you can't do shit for the diff except putting an 8.8 in. Man, I'm not rich. I spent too much money on wheels, so I can't afford the diff. So. <laughs> so it's gonna keep breaking axles till I'm able to basically afford a, like a sick ass diff. The only thing that the FC hits is nothing. It's weird. I have oval piping in the FC so it doesn't really hit the floor and that's why I did it that way because I knew I wanted the car to be low so I wanted to keep everything off the ground. 
And the coolest thing that I like about my FC is that when, when I'm actually drifting it, when it's not sitting in the parking lot, you can see literally side skirts and bumper on the floor, like right, sideways, like. And the car still goes around the corner like, really fast, and but you see everything on the floor, which is fucking sick. Like, yeah. My family member, like my parents, my brother, like, and everyone there, and they always say I'm stupid because all my cars are like, super low. Like even right now, I was, I was having an argument with my dad about my wagon because it's like on the floor on those Blitz 03s. Like literally, like it looks like it's, it's no way static. It's like there's no fucking way it looks. It is static, but it doesn't look like it. And they're arguing with me because that's gonna be my baby car. So I already, have a, I already have a baby seat on the car and it's literally tucking in the back and almost in the front. I was like, hey man, like, hey man once you like set up the car nicely, if you if you actually set it up nicely, they ride good. So I always go for style versus form. I mean, like you can get the car fit up like sick, really sick and then just adjust the suspension enough to actually get grip. Like, so of course, I mean, it's not gonna be like the sickest handling car, but it just looks way cool in your car, so it doesn't matter. But like, I took a lot of influence from like, different people like, uh, like for like the way I build a car, so just, I don't know, to me I just like a simple car. Like, I've never been, like I had a, like, a really big kit on my FD and I kind of got over it really super quickly. So to me it's more like having like a simple body lines and just sick ass wheels and some on the floor. That's it. And if it, rub, it hits, it, it rubs, it rubs, and if you fucking smash oil pan, you smash it, put a new one. Like the RX-8 in the Ford oil pan this like this month, so yeah. Right now I was like, did you see that oil in front of the shop? Yeah, I see it busted the oil pan again the other day. But I'm just gonna buy. I have to drive that car back to Virginia, so I'm just gonna buy three oil pans and just bring it with me. So if we bust the oil pan across the U.S. It's changing and keep going. Yeah, cause I can't drive the I, I, I can't drive the car high as hell. Like this, like there's no way I'm gonna do that. So bring bring a jack, bring some tools, some silicone and oil pans, and just keep fixing it. Like yeah. It's like the RX is weird. Like it just it hangs too low. The oil pan. Like I'm more mature now, so I'm not trying to be an idiot. Cause uh, there's two events I was gonna hit before leaving, but at the same time I'm driving the FC 2,800 miles across the US. So do I really want to go to drift event, risk messing up the car, and then last minute fix it and be scared the whole way back to Virginia, or just cruise the car back to Virginia and get to Virginia and then destroy it over there? Cause there's a bunch of events I'm doing. I think that like the the one right now I have my eyes on is, I think it's called Spirit Drift Series in Virginia and they have a ton of events so I'm actually going to use that event as like a platform to do backwards entries. I always want to do that shit and also to teach my brother how to drift because like there's like a big, there's a big like uh, disagreement of where I can drive or not and my brother is like right now he's like a faster drag racer so he wants to teach me how to drag race I'm just going to teach him how to drift. Like, which dragons I can, I can figure it out, it's just launching the car and shifting, it's not that hard. But I'm actually going to teach him how to drift because he has an FC and I already know how to set up the FC perfectly. I did it to like, uh, I like four of my customer cars are like perfect. So I'm just going to set up his car and have him go with me go drifting. Because that's like the, the end goal is basically just me and him like going to events. So we're going to go drag racing, we're going to go drifting. There is VIR so like in Virginia, so like that's like a huge track so I can go like time attack the car too. Except for drifting, like everything else is like kind of lame right now. Like, drag racing is like not as cool as it used to be. That's why my drag cars in Virginia, because uh, whether East Coast, like as far as drag racing, East Coast like definitely has it like, down. Like West Coast drag racing is kind of weird right now. Everyone's just like either has a GTR or a Camaro, and nothing cool about it. Everyone just has to be stop being babies. Like you just see like, a bunch of people always crying online about shit. Just like man up. Like if you're gonna spend money on cars, like just deal with it. Like. That's, that's how I see it. Yeah. Takeovers are fucking gay. It's like, that's just the gayest shit ever. Like, people just getting hurt for no reason. Just go to the track. Like, you actually have to like it. Don't just get in it just to like, think it's cool because, like, this shit is not easy. It kind of sucks. Like, you actually have to like, have like, a heart for it. Don't, don't get in it for the wrong reason because you're going to hate it. And if you don't have money, don't get into it because you're going to spend a lot of money. Like, People want a lot. Like I literally had like, a bunch of people hit me up like, hey, I want her to set up on my car. I'm like, okay, cool. So you have 20 grand. And they're like, no, I have five. I'm like, okay, like, so we can't do it. Like, so, like if you if you have to like, know what you want. Like if you want a drift car, save up the money. It's not gonna be cheap. Doesn't matter if you put an LS in an RX-7, it's not cheap anyways. So I like, get to save up the money to know what you want out of it. If not just settle for like just doing like making the car look cool. Like, just like have like, a daily, just like wheels, like coilovers. 
who gives a shit people call you a rice for just having wheels and coilovers and calling it a bill, it doesn't matter. As long as it makes you happy, that's what matters. I mean, my life is a stock, it's just wheels and coilovers, it's nothing crazy. But just do it like for you, don't like try to get people to like you. That's why, that's why people like, I don't I see it all the time, like just go online, you see people like doing extra shit just to get likes or whatever, it's not, you're not, it's not happening, they can do all the shit they want, but people see that you're not genuine. Yeah, you're not real, so people don't, they, they see that shit, they just don't follow it. So, but if you actually did it like, cause of heart, if you actually like know it, if you actually like it, people see that you actually like it, you'll get a bigger following, so. Yeah, just don't, don't try to fake it. That's why people can see it straight through that shit and not, and not like it. And then you start doing extra shit to try to make up for it and you just look stupid. Just be genuine, pretty much. Alright, I'm pretty sure people are going to call me an asshole or not because of my opinions, but like, sorry. Like, <laughs> the way I see the things, like, I'm usually like on point on how like, everything is. So, if you think I'm being an asshole, I'm sorry, but like, it's a good advice. Like. I've been messing with this shit for for years, and like, I got where I'm at because like, of course, me people help me get to where I'm at, but also because like, they know I'm not like, it's not fake. Like, this is actually like my livelihood. Like, I, I love RX sevens, I love driving, I love mochi. So like, all the shit I do is real. So that's how you have to do it. Just keep it real, and that's about it. Right, mochi? Yeah. <laughs>